NASA has recently announced that they have detected a strange peculiarity on the Moon that is escalating rapidly. This is a significant development in space exploration, as NASA is investigating the situation and has not released any further details about the anomaly. This news has sparked much curiosity and speculation among scientists and the public. The truth behind the anomaly will likely be revealed with the latest technology and NASA resources. A Rapidly Growing Anomaly on the Moon Have you ever pondered the reason behind the Moon's two distinct faces? It has been a mystery that has puzzled scientists for years. However, astrophysicists at NASA think they have finally discovered the answer. Additionally, NASA has made another astounding discovery, a gigantic anomaly on the Moon. The implications for Earth are yet to be determined, but one thing is sure, there are still numerous secrets to unveil about our Moon. NASA is preparing to send individuals back to the Moon by 2024. From ancient times, humans have been captivated by the enigmatic Moon, seeing familiar shapes on its hazy surface. Eastern civilizations envisioned a jade rabbit pounding the elixir of life, while the West holds tales of a man on the moon. And as we journeyed towards this celestial body, the Apollo 11 lunar module finally landed on its surface after a thrilling three-day voyage from Earth. The moon's hidden side, also known as the dark side, remained a mystery to us, and we were left in awe of the deep, dark craters that dotted its surface. It was a truly exhilarating experience to witness this cosmic wonder up close. Aldrin and Armstrong making history The Apollo program in the 1960s raised concerns about the moon swallowing a lander. Picture this. A spaceship hurdles toward the alien terrain. The astronauts can't help but marvel at the vast expanse of boulders and fine dust stretching out before them. Touching down in the sea of tranquility, Aldrin and Armstrong the astronauts in Apollo 11, realize that something is amiss. The ground seems to be rising around them while their ship sinks like a stone into quicksand. With every passing moment, the 15-ton lunar module is being swallowed up by the thick, relentless coating of moon dust, trapping the astronauts inside and threatening to keep them stranded on the desolate surface forever. Their hearts pounding with fear, they know that the clock is ticking and that they must find a way to free their lander before it's too late. Fortunately, NASA sent several unmanned missions to the Moon before Apollo 11 was launched, so scientists learned that the Moon's surface was just a thin layer of dust, and fears of the lunar module being sucked into the surface were allayed. Lunar research was not the main objective of Apollo 11, but subsequent missions increased our knowledge of the Moon. Scientists learned about the Moon's age, composition, and formation thanks to the thousands of moon rocks brought back by Apollo astronauts. In recent years, there has been increased interest in lunar exploration, and scientists want to learn more about the Moon. In the late 2000s, NASA, China, India, and Japan launched several missions that marked the beginning of the second era of lunar exploration. Over the past 10 years, 14 missions from four different space organizations have successfully landed spacecraft on or near the Moon. China recently sent a rover to the far side of the Moon, while NASA plans to send humans to the south pole of the Moon. Controversy Surrounding the Lunar Cataclysm Theory Over the years, many have wondered about why moon rocks are less old than the Moon. Researchers have proposed that the Moon experienced frequent impacts around 3.9 billion years ago, known as the Late Heavy Bombardment. There is a controversy surrounding the lunar cataclysm theory, with one theory suggesting that it did not occur, and that the overabundance of rocks with 3.9 billion year ages is due to sampling bias. New data suggests that the materials used to date the age of each crater may be leftovers from the impact that created the largest crater, Imperium, about 3.9 billion years ago. To determine whether intense bombardment occurred, Scientists need to travel to a crater on the Moon's far side or the South Pole, where samples are less likely to have been tainted by the impact. This could provide a better understanding of the early solar system. Water was discovered in rock samples brought back from the Moon by the Apollo 15 mission, suggesting that water may have existed on the Moon. NASA researchers have since confirmed the presence of water ice at the lunar poles using data from India's Chandrayaan-1 mission. Most ice is located near the South Pole's permanently shadowed craters, 
which is great news for upcoming lunar missions that plan to use the water ice for rocket fuel and life support. Scientists are still determining how the water ice on the moon's surface got there. There are three main hypotheses, but none have been tested yet. NASA's Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite found water and comet components on the moon's south pole. A sample must be collected and analyzed for its isotopic makeup to understand the moon's water origins better. The mystery of how the lunar water was concentrated in the poles is still a hotly debated topic among the scientific community. Whether vaporized water from comet and asteroid impacts can traverse the moon's surface or become trapped in the regolith is causing a rift among lunar researchers. Studying the moon's craters. Studying the moon's craters can reveal information about the early solar system, including the possibility of a lunar cataclysm that could reveal how the solar system was formed. New research suggests that the sun's rotation was likely 50% slower during the first billion years of its existence due to the lunar crust chemistry, which contains less salt and potassium than the Earth. Recently, Saxena and their team made some exciting discoveries about the minerals on the moon. They used models to show how solar activity can affect the deposition and removal of these minerals. Additionally, they looked at how solar flares and star rotation speeds are correlated. What they found was pretty amazing. The slow rotation of the sun is responsible for the current levels of potassium and sodium on the moon. It just shows that there's always something new to learn about our solar system. The sun's early history can explain the loss of water on Venus, the atmosphere on Mars, and how it affected Earth's atmosphere. There are still many unresolved questions about the moon, despite our better understanding. The moon is a stepping stone to exploring distant planets. New findings have uncovered a puzzling occurrence at the south pole of the moon. A colossal entity is located within the largest impact crater in the solar system. Looking in our backyard can help us better understand and explore distant planets. This large object underground on the moon is affecting its gravitational pull. It weighs 2.4 quadrillion U.S. tons and could be a heavy metal fragment from a past impact. It is unclear why it remains immobile despite the moon's active interior. The object's unexpected size and weight have brought new insights into the reason behind the moon's distinct appearance. However, it's worth noting that the side of the moon we see from here on Earth is not the only one. Could this massive object be the reason the far side of the moon is an entirely different panorama? Viewing the secret zone on the moon. Long ago, in 1959, humanity was astounded when the Soviet Luna 3 probe gave us a sneak peek of the moon, and it was not what we expected. Instead of the usual gray patterns, the moon was covered in craters. Further missions reveal that the moon's two faces are entirely different in composition and scientists have been scratching their heads over this mystery. But a recent study proposed a groundbreaking theory that might explain everything. The study suggests that billions of years ago, shadows created by a significant impact, along with lava flows, could be responsible for this enigmatic lunar dualism. And that's not all. The study also sheds light on why the far side of the moon doesn't have the wavy hues of ancient lava, known as lunar mare, that we can see on the near side. The simulations of the impact that formed the South Pole Aitken Spa Basin suggest that it produced a plume of heat that carried specific chemical components to the near side of the moon, leading to the volcanic activity that created the lunar Mari. Can you believe it? The moon has secrets yet to be uncovered, and we're getting closer to unraveling our celestial neighbor's mysteries. The South Pole Aitken collision explains the absence of certain substances on the far side of the moon, such as potassium and phosphorus. This event also led to the development of the proselytism creep terrain on the near side, which remains an essential unanswered question in lunar science. This video presents two concepts, but further evidence is required in the future to confirm the idea. Nevertheless, when you appreciate the moon's impressive appearance, please spare a moment to reflect on its concealed and uneven far sides. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching and see you next time.